a sentence has been vacated. Why? Because the judge said that man just looks like a criminal. I'm not kidding. Put up the picture full mass. Now, this is quite insane. In Michigan, LaRon Liggins on the right had his drug charges vacated. Vacated last week after US District Judge Stephen Murphy III on the left said, looks like a criminal during a pretrial hearing, violating the man's right to due process. That's a constitutional violation. Let me give you background on the case. According to NBC News, Ron Higgins, a Liggins, excuse me, was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison for two drug charges, was indicated by the Michigan grand jury, uh, indicted, excuse me, by the Michigan grand jury in February 2018 on a charge of conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute heroin. In 2019, a count of aiding and abetting possession with intent to distribute heroin was also added to the indictment. During Liga's pretrial hearing on January 2020, the US District Judge Stephen Murphy III became frustrated with Liggins after he changed his attorney multiple times. That's a right that you have, which continued to delay the trial. While voicing his frustrations about Liggins and the delays, the judge said he was tired of this case. What do you want me to do? This guy looks like a criminal to me, end quote. Judge Murphy said, this is what criminals do. This isn't what innocent people do who want a fair trial, end quote. Um, Judge, let's put him back up. Sir, everybody is actually judicially innocent unless they are proven judicially guilty. You are not the court of public opinion. You are the presiding judge over the rights of the defendant. That is your actual job. You literally decided to bypass all of your years of law school attorney training and judicial training to say something like this on the absolute record, understanding it is completely contrary to the due process clause of the US Constitution and your prime operation as a judge. How many times have you done this before is my question. And I'm glad you did it this time because at least we'll know you're not the guy who will call balls, balls and strikes, strikes and protect the rights of individuals who come before you. There's more. After the judge said these comments, uh, LaRon Liggins filed a motion to have the judge recuse, which Murphy denied, which was dumb as hell. Although he did apologize once again, admitting to his remarks, explaining that he uh, lost his head, end quote, but could still be fair, right? Even though he thinks, yeah, yeah, this guy's guilty. He could still be fair during the trial. I give Mr. Liggins the same rights and opportunities to hear to demonstrate his innocence or lack of guilt as any other litigant. And I believe that my conduct at the final pretrial conference and in today's hearing do not evidence any bias. (laughs) I mean, it's laughable. You say the man's guilty in your opinion, that does not provide evidence of bias? Wow, however, a three judge panel, yep, they disagree with him. The three judge panel from the US District Court of Appeals disagreed with Murphy and their appeals opinion, arguing that the court has a duty to protect against all appearance of bias, according to the opinion. When Judge Murphy refused to recuse himself, he was violating Ligon's Fifth Amendment rights, which ensure the right of a fair trial. Since the panel of judges didn't rule on the evidentiary issues, federal prosecutors could still file for a new trial. But as of now, uh, LaRon Ligon's is no more sentenced to 10 years. Well, there you have it. Sharon thoughts. This is legal cut and dry. The yep. court may they made the right decision here. But what does a criminal look like in 2023, Dr. Richie would be my question. I mean, if you just keep it on 
cable news, it looks more like Judge Murphy than Mr. Liggins these days. Maybe yeah. with the orange hue, spray tan, but it looks more like Judge Murphy, okay? Especially given the recent behavior we have seen displayed by Amen. the judge.